Did you know people with avoidant attachment are actually people pleasers deep down? It's the opposite of how it looks on the surface. See, one of their biggest core negative beliefs is that they're not good enough and they can't give you what you want and need and that you deserve better than them. And they got this way through two big steps. First, in childhood, their emotions probably weren't even noticed, much less validated. They were dismissed, they weren't allowed to be expressed. They heard things like, get over it, suck it up, why are you crying? You want me to give you something to cry about? Or, hey, if you're gonna be sad, you need to go be sad in your room. So their emotions weren't welcomed, and then step two, their parents probably put a big emphasis on achievements. They felt like they were expected to be perfect, and they got constant criticism because nothing was ever good enough. It seemed like nothing they ever did was right, no matter how hard they tried to please these parents with the high expectations. And now they put those same expectations on themselves because that's how their nervous system thinks it's finally gonna get the love and emotional support it needed when they were young. And now they want to come through for you, but they're afraid they're going to fail you and not be able to please you because those inner parts from their childhood haven't been dealt with yet. So they struggle with closeness and intimacy because closeness and intimacy weren't safe for them when they were younger. They fear losing their independence and autonomy because that's safety for them. And they take time and space to process their emotions. They're not comfortable relying on others and they don't feel comfortable having others rely on them because they're afraid they're gonna fail them. So on the surface, it does seem like they're not people pleasers because it seems like if they were, they wouldn't be pulling away or they wouldn't be hurting your feelings like this. So now you know what's going on in their head and it doesn't excuse their behavior, but now you at least know the kind of battles that are going on inside.